Hey, Roth Stars. So it's me, Tiffany Roth. I am so excited because today I decided, you know what? I wanted you guys to hear from some of the amazing women that are going to be on the Revive Your Life retreat. And so I invited Roth Star via Kim uh, just to come here and tell us a little about, about her journey to, first of all, find out about Tiffany Roth workouts and then f planning to revive her life at the retreat in Costa Rica. So, hey, Bea Kim, how are you? How are you? Good, good. So first of all, how did you hear about Tiffany Roth workouts? Well, it's been like forever. It's been since I think 2006 or seven. Oh my God. When we first got started. <laughs> wow. Wow. You're making yeah. me feel like ancient right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so you were just kind of following the workouts on YouTube. I was following like the workouts, you know, off and on, having family, working, would always come back because back then it really was like YouTube had kind of just kind of got started. Yeah. So yeah. So it was on it basically the computer, but now, you know, you can stream it to your TV. And I know. All. Isn't that cool? Phone, but your tablet. <laughs> so, so I remember that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So then, so you just kind of followed along. I think I started in 2010, actually. You just started following along, doing the workouts. What was what were the workouts that you like to do the most? I like ab workout and, and booty workout. And try, like I was um after I had my daughter when she was like a little older, you know, I was kind of like, what can I do to get my body back in shape? So I started doing, you know, upper body, lower body, core workouts and things like that. Okay, great, great. And so um when you heard about the retreat, right? I think the first <laughs> retreat you heard about was Tulum, right? Or was it Dominican? What was it? It was the first, the second one I this is that the second one? The first one was Tulum. Last year was Dominican. And it was the first one. Okay, the first one, Tulum. So for mm -hmm. you guys, you know, so she had, she was interested in the Tulum retreat and she just stayed on my heart and mind. I reached out to her and, you know, to ask her, hey, you know, we're going to Costa Rica. And so what did you think about that? Because I know we had this sort of synergy moment when she was just like, oh my God, like my health is on my mind. What was that like? Oh, yes. It was like, first I was, um, I was taking care of my mom and she had uh, Alzheimer's. So I was kind of like in a slump. So um, in, in a slump in a good way, if that makes any sense, because I was taking care of her, but then she made her transition. So I was like depressed about that. And then I was um, trying to figure out what can I do? What can I do? So after the COVID happened, I was kind of like, trying to figure out I needed a sign. I needed something. I started to feel revitalized, but I still needed something. I started um, uh, taking uh, control of my life basically with, through, with work and everything, but I felt that I needed did a sign so I went to bed that night and I was thinking I was like send me a sign let me see something I got a something I feel something I was feeling something and then I got a text message <laughs> I'm even on the phone I don't know I still got my number oh my god and then you have reached out and then you said well guess what we're going on a retreat I was like a retreat oh my god I'm I want to go. I was like, no hesitation. I was like, wow, I want to go. Because then she reminded me, she was like, remember that the first time you were going to go? And I was like, yeah, and I couldn't go for some reason. It just couldn't happen for me. But I said, you know what? I'll make it happen this time. Yes. Yeah. I was yes. like trying to figure it out because, you know, my job and working and things like that. And I was like, if I go, I got to find a replacement for myself so I can, you know, make make it work for me. Yeah. So that's I how I did that. it. When we were talking about that at first, uh, tell me what you do again. Okay, so I am a Sister Locks consultant. Yeah. I'm a brand ambassador for the company and I'm R certified. So I teach people how to retighten their own hair. We're talking about locks. And um, now I've, uh, I, my thing is, I got in line to do Sister Locks. I stayed in line and now I'm trying to get to the front of the line, which I'm on my way there because now I'm a national trainer. Yeah. I travel <laughs> all over the country teaching people how to do Sister Locks. I now, know. one thing about with my Sister Locks is that I ended up having, I had Sister Locks at first from since 2000, but I had cancer 
and um uh, it took all my hair out and um yeah so i didn't get them again but i want to get them again so maybe uh -huh. i will but i enjoy empowering women to um you know to reach their goals and uh yeah. the sister life's career and doing sister life as a consultant is such an amazing journey and i really like that i have a salon and now it's my uh, family business because wow. i get my daughters decided it was like oh, look at this machine wow. <laughs> where's, your, where's your salon where's your, huh? where's your salon Oh, it's in Southfield, Michigan, Detroit, okay. but Southfield, just right outside of um uh, of Detroit. And um, it's a family salon because now I got two daughters and they're doing sister locks and one is full time and one she just took the training. So um, she's building up her clientele. So once she build up her clientele, she'll be straight. So, so if somebody wanted to reach you or to go to you for sister locks, what would they do? Um, if they want to take the training, they go to sisterlocks.com, look for Via Kim Royster Weary on the site under um, consultant, mm, the consult okay. certified consultant. Okay. And they can find me and then look up where I'm going to be all over, wherever. Okay. <laughs> and then you can um, sign up and take the class. That's it's online really cool. and then it's a two day training. I do the two day training. So I have, you said a lot right now that I just want to- I know it. Uh, so much. The first thing is that Ooh. what I really love was that you guys, and the reason why I invited her on was because sometimes I believe in like a heart-centered approach to business. And when I was thinking about the retreat, we have, you know, very few slots available. Um, I was looking at my phone. I saw her name. I reached out to her. Now- I've asked God for signs in my life before, and they are immediate, right? So when we were talking about that, she was like, I just asked God for a sign. And I want you guys to know, like, if you're watching this video, it's a sign. If you're watching this video, it's a health opportunity for you. Because what I also heard you say is that you're a cancer survivor. And we don't really know sometimes when that negative energy, that heart pain, heartache, and trauma is working on the inside of our body, doing a number, right? At our cells and mm -hmm. organs. And so that happens. And thank God, right? That you've overcome that. And what I'm hearing for you is that when you get that message that, hey, my health gets to come first, you answer the call. And that's really, really important, you guys. It's so important that when there is a health opportunity, you jump on the front of the line because everything else will be there, right? You're going to, you know, your, your business will be there. You'll be able to organize it. You'll make more money. You'll do all that stuff. But what you can't get, okay, from somebody else or somewhere else is good health. And so that's what I love about this retreat is that not only is it like a fun, like sort of fitcation, I call it a fitcation, but it's really a mind, body, and spirit elevation. And so I don't want to talk too much about it because I like to have surprises. And so like, I'm she's so coming excited. <laughs> yeah, so excited. So you guys, we're going to fly into Costa Rica and then we take a, a private chartered plane over to the island, which is a five-star resort. And guess what? We're the only ones in the resort, right? So we're at the resort. We have our own staff. Like the buildings have been flown in from Bali and it's got like waterfalls and rivers. It's really back to nature. And the thing is, um, the oxygen that you're breathing in the rainforest is so rich and healing and nourishing for your body. Like the water, the food, farm to table food, you guys, it's all so restorative. And then to be outdoors doing your workout, meditation and yoga, laughter, <laughs> eating meals together, right? Just get it in shape. And then feeling that, you'll be able to carry all of those good habits back with you. So whenever you come to the retreat, you're not only gonna experience the benefits from the retreat, but your body will remember and you'll be like, man, I want to meditate today, man. I, I want to keep up with my workouts. You know, I'm going to keep up with this healthy eating. So it's, it's like a life changer. It's just like spring cleaning for your body. Now, the other thing that I want to say is your hair looks gorgeous, right? Thank you. <laughs> it does. Okay. From one curly hair to the next. And <laughs> I love the fact that you're empowering women with sister locks. Can you explain exactly what they are? They are small 
um, this like a um, very small locks. People um, want to call them dreadlocks, but you know we don't talk about we don't say dreadlocks anymore. We talk about just locks because your hair naturally wants to lock or swirl together. So they're very small locks, and we put them in the um, person our client's hair, and they have the freedom to do all kinds of different hairstyles. Mm. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And it gives it up their time and you can work out, you know. I like I that. Oh, that's one of the things that I really love that you're doing that about empowering women and helping women be free because people used to not want to work out because they didn't want to mess up their hair. They right. didn't go swimming. They didn't want to sweat. And there's been all this. Right. Like, so this way you can be natural. You can mm -hmm. exercise, which I'm a proponent of that. You can get in the water. You can be in the rain. You can be the fullest and best expressed version of yourself. Ooh, yes. So, yes. Okay. So um, they can go, just go ahead and say it again where they can reach you if any Anybody was interested in getting sister locks? If you're interested and you want to come to the Southfield area, it's all natural locks, which is AU natural locks. And I'm located um, at 18700 West 10 Mile Road, mm -hmm. in that Southfield, Michigan, 48075. Mm -hmm. Or you can call me at 313. 2313352 and you can just call me if you have just have questions or if you want to know more information about it I can direct you where to go wherever that you are because we have sister lot consultants all over the country wow. so that's a good thing about it well, thank you so much for empowering women and thank you for sharing your story. So just like a back, a little backtrack. So she's been a raw star YouTube follower, sitting, yeah. kind of checking things out, you know, tipped her toe in about the retreat and finally jumped. And now we'll have to follow up with some pictures and everything after the retreat. The retreat, retreat is this July 22nd to the 27th in Costa Rica. You know what I just found out? That Costa Rica is what they call like a blue place. And because of, have you heard of that? It's the like blue zone. People, huh? Blue zone. Blue where zone. People live uh, like a real long time. Long life, right? Long lives. That's yeah. what I mean, you guys. And so like, and there's like this whole community of people that's moving to Costa Rica. So I'm really excited oh, that wow. we get to go there. Yeah, we get to go there and be in the blue zone place. So we can, it's like even that week being there, we can get some life extension, right? <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for your time today. I'm so excited to finally meet you in person um, in Costa Rica. Yeah. And you guys, everybody say goodbye to Via Kim. <laughs> Bye. Bye.